Okay, we have another super evil employee. Oh, and a button. Listen, I have a very strict press all buttons policy. What are my shoes made out of dynamite? What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And for today's episode, it is like Christmas all over again because Stay in Shadow 5 has been released. Now, I don't know if you've seen all my old episodes, but I have played a lot of workshop levels and I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt, no pun intended, <laughs> that Stay in Shadow is one of the biggest, the best, the most detailed series of levels for this game. So getting a new addition to that series is pretty sweet. I can't really remember how Stay in Shadow 4 ended, but at least this time around, we're starting with quite a bit of shadow or not. <laughs> Apparently I just have a motion sensor light here in my tiny prison cell, I would imagine. What's the point of that? Like, do I just have to sit here all day doing this if I want any kind of light? <laughs> or the two of us have to sit in the dark, huh? Did you think things through? Okay, listen, I need to get out of here. Super Evil Co. are doing a bunch of super evil things. They're making big robots and small robots and crab people and nukes and... You're with Super Evil Co., aren't you? I just realized this is not a typical security guard. He's wearing the hat and he's got the red clothes. Of course. So, we have no fluffles on the toilet. We have no knob on the door. I'm guessing I probably need to Chuck Norris you through these bars, but that doesn't usually end well for anybody. Let's suppose you want to just give me that knife in your hand. No? Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna... Okay... Um, that's not really what I had expected. <laughs> I kind of figured I would make him bump his head on the wall, and then he would open the door and come in here and we would wrestle. I didn't think I would just drop kick him into jam. Now, I'm not one to tell Super Evil Co. security guards how to do their job, but at the same time, you probably don't want to put the escape button within arm's reach of the prisoner. Especially if you're going to put a giant yellow arrow pointing towards it. It just reeks of wanting the prisoner to escape. Do you think they want me to escape? Am I being set up for something? He didn't want me to escape. Okay, I think it's pretty safe to say that that quivering pile of meat did not want me to escape. But I'm going to take his knife. I probably don't need his knife if my foot can do that. But at the same time, you know, you never know when you're going to come across an apple and then you're going to want to peel an apple and not use your foot. Are they blind here? Oh no, I'm in the shadow. Stay in the shadow, you get it? <laughs> I can stay here for as long as I want until I throw my knife. Another thing that I can't do with my feet. I mean, not yet at least, right? I'm working on it. I would love to become a foot ventriloquist. But for now, I think we're just going to take his gun. That's stuck into the wall. That's really cool. I feel like that's something that came with the latest update to the game. So I can go into the ventilation, or I can go downstairs and introduce myself to some kind of scientist. <laughs> Consider that my introduction. <gasps> Holy crap. Whoa. What was going on down here? Something consensual, I would assume. Yeah, you see, I knew that we were going to see robots at one point or another, but this doesn't look like any kind of robot. This looks, uh... Well, I can't quite tell. Is it kinky? Is it a probe? Or was this your dentist? I have a hard time telling one with what's left of him. I actually have a very strict press all buttons policy, so let's just both keep our fingers crossed for dentists, shall we? I'm not really looking to... Probe anybody today. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in this game before. Oh, it was it was like a dentist probe. Come to think of it, I'm not trained to be a dentist. I shouldn't be touching these things. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. You you just have a, a lovely day. The one thing about these levels is I constantly stop and ask myself, should I go back upstairs and go through the ventilation, or should I go through here? Because I don't want to miss out on stuff. I guess we could peek underneath the stairs to see what's going on in this creepy room. Okay, we have another super evil employee. Oh, and a button! Listen, I have a very strict press all buttons policy. 
What are my shoes made out of? Dynamites? Why does that keep happening? Okay, fine. That did a thing. That definitely did something. Uh, what did that do? You guys are still cool? Wait a minute. This was in shadow a second ago, wasn't it? Right, we came out of our cell, we snuck around here and hit that guy with the dagger. This was not here earlier. Okay, so we'll go through that in a minute. Now I want to go into the ventilation and see what's going on up here. So if we remove all of these, and then just crouch walk our way around. Anything interesting going on around here? Oh, I could have dropped down. Yeah, I think I've been down there. By the looks of things, I've been down there already. <laughs> it's easy to tell. When it comes to these levels, uh, I don't technically need to kill everybody that I come across, but at the same time, they are super evil co, right? I don't want to leave anybody behind because before you know it, they've built some kind of Cyclops robot who can't see me in the shadow. Okay, uh, catch! Great job, robot. You really nailed that one. Can I have that back? Because <laughs> if I take two big steps forward, you're, you're going to see me. Okay, boop! Right in the eye. Weird. That's not good, right? Because they were making big stupid robots. Now they're making small stupid robots, technically. <laughs> they're still not the brightest. Boop! There we go. See, being stealthy helps out a whole lot. I'm waiting for the giant robots. You know there's gonna be one. Hmm. Are those giant robots or a nuke or giant robots building a nuke? I can't be 100% certain from over here. We're gonna have to take a closer look. Boop! How does nobody see, hear, or smell that? <laughs> that is crispy employee flesh right there. Uh, okay. Sure, yeah, nobody wants to see me. You look like you're touching something very dangerous and you probably shouldn't be disturbed. <laughs> Oh, I could do that forever. Where did that little dangerous cube go? Right, you, you were adding one more cube in there. The sphere. I heard it jingle around. Hmm, okay, well, you know what? These guys aren't all that attentive, so I'm just gonna... There we go. How do you not hear that? Just... <laughs> okay, so, there are indeed giant robots. Giant nuke-wielding robots. Right? Is this a missile? Are they making Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Probably should've asked that before I kicked his head off. All that I can really gather is that they're building some kind of radioactive spears out of smaller cubes and then tossing them into an incinerator. Which is either activating them or preparing them to go in the giant vat. It's all... very... confusing. There we go. <laughs> Nothing going on down here. Okay, we'll follow the arrow. We'll see what's up. I don't know if this is gonna be the last level. I'm curious if we're gonna come across some kind of big boss fight. Like, not that big, but you know, big. People running around over there. You didn't see anything, did you? Uh, he might be on to me, it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, he's super evil co. I knew I was in the right place. It's a good thing, because this was like the Walmart factory, then I'd be in a whole lot more trouble. Would you really put it past Walmart to sell a three-pack of giant nuke-building robots? Okay, that's locked, so I'm guessing we do indeed need to go up and around through here and then behind the nuke. Anything of interest going on down here? Hello? Is there anybody around? Okay. Are you a prisoner or an employee? See, E might mean employee or E might mean evil co. I'm gonna assume it means evil. Definitely evil. Are you evil? That's the brain of an evil man if I've ever seen one. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> Why are they making apple gremlins? Can I take you with me? Oh, oh, he had a button in his butt. I can't believe I found that right away. If I did not decide to make a joke about picking him up, I would have never in a million years spotted that. Oh my god, that is very lucky. There we go. I turned off all the lights. Ooh, that's cool. Now there's more shadow. Does that mean it'll be easier for me to sneak around? 
We are moving up. Did I open the door over there? I did. So do I go up or over? I'm going to keep going up. I'm curious if there's anything around here. I, I don't want to come across any giant robots. Little robots might be okay. But mostly concerned about a whole whack load of employees. Boop. Snoop. Group. Oh, yeah, he just watched that. Oh, come on. Really? I thought we were going to be cool. You, you totally watched me kill your boss and you didn't care all that much. So they're still working on their mech-sized robots. Nothing new there. Hmm. More arrows. So maybe I should go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take something from here. Some kind of weapon. Oh, oh, oh I heard a jingling. There we go. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see what that other door was about. It's rare to play a Paint the Town Red level that's designed like an actual video game. You want to double back and find out all the little secrets and stuff like that. That's not so much a little secret. That, uh, that's kind of creepy. Oh. So this was another prison cell? Oh, 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 what are you? What are you? Fluffles? Uh, I don't think that's Fluffles. That does not look like Fluffles. They've been feeding you meat. Not the good kind of meat. Do you want to come out here? I wouldn't mind seeing your face. That is cre- Oh, that is really creepy. You can- you can- Oh. I see how it is. Well, the creepy face is gone. <laughs> Why are my Chuck Norris kicks not working anymore? How about we just, uh, burn this, right? I'm not gonna use this anytime soon. So you can just stop it. Stop it. No, no, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. In a world where everybody is built of crackers and porcelain, we have found the titanic behemoth that is this zombie. Are you kidding me? Um, maybe I just ignore him, right? Maybe I just go along my way and, and he could just go screw every part of himself because there's no way I can kill him. I'll just continue with the level, right? He's gonna sneak up behind me. You keep guard, okay? And you too, a piece of head. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, everything is fine. Everything is great, right? We sprint. He can't sprint. It'll take him forever to catch back up. We're gonna go up these stairs, these stairs right here, and uh, we're gonna choose a weapon. It's a pretty easy choice. He's like miles behind, right? I probably don't need to worry about that. I'll just go down here. Eh. Oh. Oh, there's the giant robots. I don't know what I did to piss off Sam Fisher so much that he would want to squish me with a giant robot, but let's do this, okay? You know what? I'm ready to tango. You can get your giant mini robots out of here. <laughs> yeah, giant mini robots. That's right. I'm giving them stupid names. Now, you can just get out of here, minions, right? I don't have any quarrel with you. You get away. I, uh, huh. Okay, how about we uh, just try, there we go. <laughs> Don't need a brain to work here, I see, that's cool. Your giant robot's not doing very much, just kind of ominously staring at me. Maybe I can uh, trick you into coming on over here? Come on, come on, you know you want to. L little bit, little bit, inch by inch, oh, he's tempted. <laughs> okay, fine, I'm gonna have to bring back the Chuck Norris. Ow, oh, what, what? No, that's not fair. When I kick, you move. That's, that's how this works. Ah, oh, crap. I probably should have saved up some of those abilities that I wasted on a freaking zombie earlier. Why did I have to piss it off? I'm gonna make you look like a zombie soon enough. You're nothing but skull. There we go. You belong to me now. Okay, we're gonna be super nice co. Does that sound, that doesn't have the same ring to it. Okay, it's a working title. We'll, we'll figure things out. Uh, oh, here we go. I was gonna say, is there something I'm supposed to do? I probably need to press all the buttons. No, just that button. Just, just that, no, not just that button, all these buttons, but then I run the risk of dying. I don't want to run the risk of dying. I'm fighting the robots. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. I can't believe that. You thought we were going to be friends. You thought we were going to start Super Nice Co. Well, guess what? That's not going to happen. Now you're all broken and, and fiery and falling apart. I'm getting out of here. I'm moving on to the next level with less zombies. 
The Stay in Shadow series 2017-2019. Does that mean this is the end? Because that would be so disappointing. I would love to have more of these. I'm sure he'll be making more levels, there's no doubt about it. Created by Nico Lavelle, aka Ocean Man. Are you Ocean Man? Thank you for all your work, I appreciate it. <laughs> Who's left? Oh, the zombies left alive. Of course. Ooh, wait, wait, special thanks, special thanks. Uh, uh, yeah, I made it! <laughs> he tagged me on Twitter letting me know that this was released, so I, I kind of had a feeling that I might show up. Oh, that's awesome! So, what else? Oh, there's an escape! That was great! I gotta say, I absolutely love these levels. This lived up to the hype in my mind. Our next level is called Peleliu 1944, and apparently this is a World War II battle. So we're America, we're invading this island that's currently being controlled by Japan, and things don't seem to be going great. I'm gonna assume that it was the Japanese in the trenches that shot those men and not you, right? It definitely wasn't me, and it probably wasn't that guy. I don't really want to leave the safety of my tank, but I guess I don't really have any choice. It doesn't seem like it's moving anywhere. How is it going, boys? Other than those guys, we doing good? Just, uh, you know, sitting on nothing. World War II style. I couldn't figure out why this level was taking so long to load, and it turns out it's not only because there's an entire battlefield behind me, but there's also a battleship in the water that's firing at the coast. I'm guessing that's where we launched from. We rolled our tanks up here, and now we're gonna go introduce ourselves. Hey, are we cool? I'm just gonna hang out here in no man's land and take a look at you. Oh, we're surrounding them. We got guys over there, we got guys over there. I, I may not have wanted to give away positions. That That's my bad, okay, charge! <laughs> Into the trenches, boys! He, he's got a chair, he came right at me! I didn't really expect this to devolve into slapping, but I guess that's what you gotta do, right? <laughs> We're gonna take this island back one slappy fist at a time. Get away from me. <laughs> I love that they have the headbands and everything, just in case you weren't sure that they were Japanese. Come on now. What are you, you doing? Get away. Come on, stop hitting my friend with a shovel. My shovel now. Do I need to find, like, the leader, I wonder? Are you the leader? If you were, you won't be walking away. No, it's so it's so hard not to hit friends in this, okay? Friendly fire is turned on, just like it was in World War II. If I was a Japanese leader, where would I be? Right, that's what we need to figure out right now. Would I be hiding up in a tree? I got him! I got him, guys! World War II is over! With one shovel toss, the whole world then knew peace! Hey, 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 okay, that, that's kind of rude. Listen, this is how it's gonna be. You have brought great disgrace and dishonor upon your family. Get back here, I get to run now, so I get to make everybody into meaty little cubes. Oh, I love the update, it makes my life so much easier. Get out of here, little pencil mustache. Oh, that's the stuff. Right, if you see this, you just quit, right? You can quit war, can't you? I I'm sure. Usually for them, it would be with a katana. Yeah, where are the katanas? That's a thing, we, we got code breakers. I, I, I broke the code, there we, oh. Never mind. he was the fire button holder. Yeah, that's not really a katana, that's just more of a knife. I'm, I'm looking for a katana. There must be some around somewhere, right? They got a lot of shovels for trench digging and uh, a lot of ghost harpoons for ghost whale hunting, I guess, I don't know. Maybe down in the armory? Oh, 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 I gotta save my, my comrades! They got nunchucks! Oh, you're medics, you guys aren't gonna be any use. I, I, they have nunchucks, but they don't have katanas? They do have katanas. Uh, um, what? I'm guessing I'm not supposed to be under the map. Was this like a World War II thing? What's happening right now? Oh, 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 there we go. We're good. We're good. I would, I would really like that katana. Maybe there's another one over here. No, I'll take that though. No, it's not quite a katana, but it'll get the job done. Get away, get away. Get, oh my God, there's so many of them. The whole nation is coming down on top of me. I just want the katana. Come on, man, 150 people. What is this, a war? How about we do this in the proper order this time? First, we get the katana, then we free the prisoners. 
Right, they can take a couple more licks from the nunchuck. They're doing just fine. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> you know what's best for you. <laughs> now, how about you guys? You want some? There we go. Come on, medics. There's a lot of guys out there that could really use some help. Don't hit me with a bottle. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Who does that? Oh. Hey, medic, we could uh, use some help over here. This guy definitely took one too many licks from the nunchucks. I don't even want to know what you guys are up to. Damn crafty Japanese people, stop sneaking up on me. I'm tired of getting hurt. Go away. Enough, okay? Enough is enough. I found the leader. That was the leader. The guy in the tree was a leader. He was a fake leader. Don't worry about it. I got you now. Katana fight is exactly how this should have ended. Um, okay. You know what? Um, okay. You know what? That's not quite what I was going for. Bottle. Your men are out there digging trenches, but they should be digging graves. I've had enough of this, okay? I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna change the tide of the war one body at a time. How many could possibly be left, right? Well, how about this many less? All right, the katana is usually great in crowd. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Why are they all piled up? They're fighting each other. There aren't even any allies in here. If there were, there aren't any more, that's for sure. Huh, weird. Okay, well, I feel like we're doing great work here. You still holding on to that fire button there, Chief? Uh, how's that going? Going well? Oh, 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 okay, I was just asking how your work was. You don't need to be rude. Nice little chair move. I get the feeling there are more people stuck underneath the map because I'm following this guy and he's not being a great hunter dog. You know, he's supposed to sniff them out, point the chair at them and then I shoot them. I'm hearing lots of slaps, but I'm not seeing anybody. Maybe I can glitch onto the map myself again. I think if I go over here and I do something like this, maybe. Can I, I, wa I want back through. No, <laughs> once in a lifetime opportunity. Well, tits. Oh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. They weren't stuck under the map. There's just a whole lot of reinforcements coming that I did not predict. <laughs> Where did they come from? There's no way I didn't spot them earlier. Okay, there's got to be more shotgun bullets around, right? This is a war. There's got to be plenty of guns. I just need to dig them up. I kind of wanted guns to shoot, not to throw. G guns to throw aren't nearly as good, guys. Can we maybe get some covering fire? Tanks, come on, work your magic. Any second now, they're not gonna do anything, are they? They're just gonna sit there and watch as... <laughs> oh, come on! You guys are the worst country ever! Help! Just drive over them! Maybe I can shoot them, right? What if I come up here with you and then I get stuck in the gun? Oh, 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 um, um, are we cool? I think we're cool. I feel like I'm currently giving a speech rather than fighting a war. <gasps> oh, there's a big one. What's your, hey, 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 what's your deal? Nothing, okay. How about some covering fire from the battleship? That would uh, come in handy. We're still working on cleaning up the stragglers, but I think we're actually making some progress. Nine left, do the nine include my allies? Because that wouldn't go over very well with command. <laughs> Check in the woods back, huh? What? What kind of poison woods are on this island? You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. Like, this is not how I expected my hero's journey to end. Okay, I became a spy, and then I took down Super Evil Co. and their giant robots, and then I became Rambo, and I joined World War II to take down Japan, and then I died to a bunch of plants. Plants, man, not even plants. I died to green. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Jesus!